So this morning I'm going to show you how to create a party order. So I'm on my site and on the fourth drop down, it's called my orders, create a new order. And then I'm going to click party orders. That's going to generate the next page, which is going to ask you what kind of party did you have? So I'm going to click an online Facebook because I've been doing those and I'm just going to type in uh, hello as a test. I'm going to, you know, replace it after party date. I'll just choose a date and a time. Oops. Uh, I'll just go with a date and time and add uh, the information that it requires, which is the address, phone number, etc. And I'm going to start the party now. At the bottom right, it says start party later or now. And then it wants you to verify the address. So you're going to just click on, yeah, that's the address that I want because it verifies everything. And you're going to click yes. So the next window that it offers you is, okay, where do you want it shipped? So I'm just going to say uh, ship to me because I usually like to package and deliver everything. And then it's going to say the address that I want to ship to. And if that's the address I want to ship to, then I'm just going to go to next. Every page has a next at the bottom right. Up here, I got a bunch of errors. So now I've got review and edit, confirm shipping. We've already done. And then the next arrow is add guests. Then you're going to review your bookings host order, pay for orders, and review and submit. So right now I'm on add your guests in order. I'm gonna enter the first name, and I'm just gonna choose any guest here because to expedite things. And then the email, the address, just automatically defaults if you've already got them in your contacts. And again, if I want to direct ship to this guest, I would click on yes, and it would be a, um, tiered shipping cost or if just going to, within the party you do keep it on the default which is no and then I'm going to do the guest order because that's the order I want to place so they're just confirming that the shipping address is this address and yeah we're going to go with that address because that's what's entered and then all of a sudden we have the shopping so there, we here's where it's just like online shopping. You want to add an item. I'm just going to put bathroom. You don't always need the SKU. And let's see what comes up. So as soon as I hit bathroom, you got the bathroom cleaner, baby's bath brush, bath towel, everything that comes up with a bathroom. So I'm going to click on it, wait till it shows up, and then I'm going to add. So you see, now it's added. Right away, it tells me, do you want a catalog? Yeah, sure, I'll take a catalog. So I'm going to add one. It asks me French or English. I'm going to click on English. And then it added the catalog and so on. So that way you have all of your population, your items, and here is your invoice. Okay. I'm going to give you a little tip. You can add another guest. If you have another guest, after you've finished adding all her items and it's the same process. And then you follow the next arrow that says review booking. So here we're gonna add a new booking because there's always a booking. So we're gonna call this one March because we're gonna have some new products and I'm sure we're gonna have some March orders. Boy, I have a lot of March orders. And then I'm just gonna add a date and a time and modify it that way and then click on that and then I'm gonna save it. So now I have a booking in my party. Then Here's your host order. Every time you have a 250 and over party, you get subtotal A, you get 10% in free products. So you're wanting to add your host, your freebies here in your host order. Then click pay for orders. This is where I tell people to add all payments. So you got the choice of adding it to the consultant card on file or a guest customer a credit card, sorry. Add the information in there, hit add after you've added the payment, then you go to the next tab. This is the review and submit tab. This is the tab where you can review everything. You can review your buying guests. So right now I just have the one. You can review the fact that you've got your percentage, your discount right here, host discount percentage. It's gonna tell you 35 when you get to adding products. And then it's gonna tell you how much the host has to pay at uh, overage, and it tells you everything in there. Your discount, 35%, how much you get, how much you have to 
P Norwex and Y. And then you scroll down and you've got all of the information. This is where I tell everyone under your host order, you got to make sure you have your 350 package or your 550 package or I mean 750 package and a thousand. And then you check that. And then at the end, right here, it's going to say submit. And that's about it when you've entered all your items.